Jesus Christ almighty, that's a huge fucking elephant. Now, people told me in the comments about this, people told me, Falcon, be careful whenever the elephants show up, and I thought you guys were fucking around with me. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Zombie Apocalypse Mod Rim World. I'm your host, the Birdman known as Falcon, and also welcome to 2017. This is my first video recording of this year. I'm a little bit like nervous just because I haven't recorded a thing in probably a week, so I kind of got to get my recording sea legs again, you know? But I'm coming back to Rim World, which is something I'm kind of comfortable with. At the same time, though, is I forgot what I was doing last time around, so I gotta figure it out here. What I do know for a fact is that last time I played, I had the heaters turned around because we had a bunch of issues with people being cold. And even though I was upping the temperature on the AC to make it warmer, it wasn't really working out too well. So what I did here was I had them, I guess, turn these bad boys around. So now they're kind of like being warmed up in the room and hopefully that helps us out. Fred Durst is having a bunch of like issues right now. One of the things is that you guys told me in the comments is that I should make um, Haruka the bear his pet. I tried doing that. The problem is he doesn't have enough animal mastery to actually control Haruka. It requires like a level 6 in animal handling and he's literally got a 3. So I can't do that unfortunately. So I'm a bit worried about um Fred Durst's mental health here going forward. But I put a little plant over here next to where he butchers and he cooks. So maybe that makes him happy. I don't know. We'll see. Plus I did make the rooms a bit warmer. So I'm hoping that'll kind of help him out here a little bit as well. Um, anyway, let's actually get the ball rolling over here. What the hell is this? Plant daily, daily blah, blah, blah. Plant daylily? What, what? What? Oh, for the wooden plant. Oh, really? I get to choose what kind I want? Um, do a rose, I guess. Oh, <laughs> I was never aware of that. I always put down the plants and that's about it. Mental break, fire starting spree. Masahiro inventor is on a fire starting spree. Excuse me, how did that even happen? You were supposed to be in good mood. Mental state's bad. W well, obviously. How did this happen? Wearing worn out apparel? I, I told you about that shit. We butchered human life. Yo, yo, this guy's mood is doing really great. I have no idea what the problem is. I mean, 49% probably isn't that great, but it's kind of great considering everybody else's mental mood at the moment here. Fire starting spree. That's no good. Now, here's the problem. I, I don't want to, like, kill him, obviously. So, how about we, uh, Gaga? Can you drop that sword? And can you come over here and start... Oh, you can just arrest them. Try to arrest them. That's actually pretty good to... Um, I mean, I'll go quietly. That's okay. Just try to arrest them, please. Hey, no fires. Luckily, it is raining, so there is that. Stop it. Okay, he's gone mad now. He's gone completely mad now. Um, are you attacking me with that fucking club? Don't you dare attack Lady Gaga with a club. Ludicrous. Luda. Uh, drop your survivor rifle and come over here and get crazy with this dude. No, don't try to arrest Lady Gaga. She's okay. It's it's this guy over here. Lady Gaga, you come over here and you melee attack this guy. All right, come on, guys. He's got a club. He's got a club. Masahiro? Why are you going to do this? Why are you going to start 2017 out this way, Masahiro? Huh? We better not kill him. Or he, he, he knocked out. Haruka showed up too. Like, hey, what's the fucking problem here, huh? Okay, it's okay, Haruka. We got it. He's, he's knocked out now. There shouldn't be too many bad injuries here. We're probably looking at what? Bruises? Bruises, bruises. He's got a scratch from the grizzly bear. That's okay. It's just a scratch. It'll be okay. <laughs> It'll be fine. Oh boy. Is, do I have to arrest him now or is he good? I just gotta rescue him now. No arresting. Good. So Gaga, you go. Actually, Ludicrous, you rescue this guy. Gaga, you probably should go and equip this. And after you equip that, you probably should get some rest. Luckily, we do have medical beds anyway, so there is that. Okay. There you go. And Gaga, go. Go do your thing over there. Okay. Whoa, we had an issue already? Look at that! Oh, what a perfect way to start 2017, huh? My people over here fighting each other. Okay. Masahiro, you maniac. Okay, I got this. He's gone berserk, don't you worry, he's no longer berserk. We berserk the shit out of him. Now, Sneffy, can you tell me what you're doing here? Because, technically speaking, I understand you're having a, a social relaxing time and stuff, which is great, but it says you are idle. Which shouldn't be the case, because you, my friend, are researching, and we do have a research project. We're trying to get the multi-analyzer up and running, right? Oh, requires microelectronic basics. Ah. Um, how about you work on the passive coolers first? People have been telling me to use the passive coolers because it'll help me out when it comes to uh, not having to use so much power for conjoined rooms. So something, something like this over here could basically use one single cooler to pass the cold temperature and a warm temperature from one room to the other one, so that's fine. Okay, Ludacris, you did a good job. Thanks a lot for that. Let me go ahead and recruit you. Go pick up your rifle again if you can. Okay. 
And there we go. Now, do we have a couple of doctors in the house? Because Lady Gaga and Masahiro bit heard we should have doctors. Gaga's a doctor. Rose and Sneffy. So Rose and Sneffy will come along here at some point. Sneffy's researching. I guess Rose will take care of it right now, huh? Alrighty. Tattered Apparel. That's Masahiro. Masahiro, what happened? Why do you have Tattered Apparel, dude? Like, I thought I removed all that shit from you. Oh, you put the Kevlar helmet, which is, yeah. Yeah. Somebody told me in the comments there's a mod, apparently, that lets you fix the equipment. I should probably try to get that mod to see if it works for me, because uh, I like the idea of the Kevlar helmet for more sturdiness in combat, but the 28% tattered apparel thing is a bit of a problem when it comes to, like, you know, low mental health in general. So, I don't know. We should probably try to remove that if we can for now, huh? So, let's go to gear. And drop that if you can. I think you're passed out at the moment. Yeah, he's passed out. He can't get up. He can't get up. He tried to get up to take it off, and he just fucking passed out. Okay, don't worry, Masahiro. I'll try to get you. Rose, can you can you rescue this idiot? Thank you. And can you also treat him? Tending to Masahiro. Great. Okay, Masahiro, we'll take that helmet off whenever you're feeling better, okay? On the upside, Fred Durst has no minor break risk anymore, which is great. Okay, so that part has been alleviated at the very least. Okay. Now then... Are we good now? Are we relaxed? Okay, what a way to start 2017. Let's come over here and go to our floors, and what I want to do is remove floors from over here. And we also need to seal this bad boy up. What are you using? Limestone? Of course you would be. Structure, let's go over to walls, limestone. I should have enough of those here. Now, one of the things I want to focus on pretty soon is going to be the fact that um, our defenses still aren't up and running. And I thought I told these guys to make a roof over, or at least to open up the the area above this geyser, because right now inside of here it's like 91 degrees. I mean, although it's not a big problem, but just because we don't spend too much time in here, this will be our fallback shelter. But I would like for that to be opened up here if we can, especially if we have to spend so much time in here as well. Now, I thought I did this though. Let's see. Uh, expand. Clear no roof area. Expand no roof area. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's, it's just not being... Maybe should I try to, like, you know, have somebody manually do it or what? I don't know. Sometimes the bases like this kind of go by my head. Oh, speaking of which, people told me as well how to make it so they don't actually equip um, equipment under 50%. Thank a lot. Thanks a lot for that um, little piece of advice there. I will go ahead and enable it whenever I get the chance here. My biggest thing was trying to get... Excuse me? Well, what's happening here, huh? This is the first episode of 2017. Can you take it easy on me today, Storyteller? I haven't played in a while. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit, like, you know, iffy about everything I'm doing. Well, first and foremost, let's find out about these cargo pod. This is going to be berries. Berries are always pretty good. We'll have them be picked up. I don't know what the hell a manhunter pack is, by the way. A pack of manhunting elephants have entered the area. They will roam the region hunting for humanoid flesh. They can't pass doors, so if you stay behind walls, you should be safe. They won't attack inactive turrets, so turn your turrets off if you want to save them. They'll leave the area in a few days. Jesus Christ almighty, that's a huge fucking elephant! Now, people told me in the comments about this. People told me, Falcon, be careful whenever the elephants show up. And I thought you guys were fucking around with me. It doesn't seem like you were, but this is only one of them, right? We should be okay with one, correct? He's melee attacking Rose, by the way. Um, okay. This could be a problem. Especially with two people knocked out already. Um, okay, he's going to probably show up here pretty soon. How fast is he? We can't outrun him, though, right? We should be able to. Maybe we run and shoot? Is that a fox over here? Oh, it's a fox. Oh, I like foxes. They're so cute. It's a little tail at the end. It just wins me over every single time. Um, alrighty. Oh, Jesus Christ, I forgot to... What happened here? That elephant's going to get in and kill my, my people who are passed out. Okay, alrighty, this is the problem. I don't think this guy, this guy could move either. Rose? Rose, what are you doing? You're feeding the people, that's great and everything, but we got a fucking elephant that's gonna crash through here pretty soon. What is he doing? He's moving right at the moment. He's maddened as well. He's, he's fucking pissed off. Alrighty, elephant on the row here. So, Ludacris and Fred Durst are shooters, so you know what? Guys, I'm gonna need your help here. Sneffy, what do you have? You have a rifle or a shotgun, actually. Okay, here's what we do. Technically speaking, I should just wait indoors, but you know me. What's um, what's the game without a little bit of risk and um, fun, you know? Come out here. This motherfucker is gonna... Rule the day he decided to come after us, I'm gonna tell you right now. Fred, um, let's um, see if we can get some shots here. Okay, we got two shots. Great. 
Now you guys start retreating. Retreat, 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 retreat. Okay. Is it gonna attack my animals? Don't you dare it. Don't you dare attack my animals, you fucker. Alright, you guys keep moving back for now. Don't it. <gasps> no! He's attacking Ludicrous. Oh well, it seems like the bear is trying to attack it. How's his health doing? It's injured already a little bit. Well, I think we attacked it and then that was about it, huh? You guys, keep shooting. Okay, good, 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 good. Very good. Move back again. You know, what's happening today, Falcon? Oh, I'm just being chased down by a fucking rampaging elephant. You know what happens on occasion. Now, Sneffy does have to get closer because she's got a shotgun, but I don't want to risk it. Ooh, we got a shotgun shot in there, that's for sure. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Keep moving back, guys, keep moving back. It's injured at the very least, so we're doing relatively fine here at the moment. We're not missing our shots, too, which is the important part. Oh, motherfucking elephant went down. Ha <laughs> ha, what did you do today, Falcon? Oh, you know, I just knocked down a rampaging elephant. I'm a total baller that way. Okay, you guys are free to run off now. Thanks a lot for your help. Very, very good. Oh, actually, before we run off, hey, Sneffy, you wanna, you wanna go ahead and just rescue? Excuse me? What do you mean rescue the elephant? Hey, guys, can I can I make this into a pet? How damaged is it? I mean, we fucking pumped it full of gunshots, man. Should I save? I feel like I should save before I try to save this elephant. I normally don't try to save scum when I play RimWorld, just because, you know, what's the fun in that? But I feel like rescuing this thing could be problematic, no? You guys don't think? Alrighty, well... Oh, Jesus, this might be a bad idea. Rescue elephant? You know, just Sneffy. Sneffy has literally picked up a fucking elephant and is now carrying it to safety. Sneffy is picked up an elephant and is carrying it to safety. Sneffy has picked up a fucking elephant. Do you understand why I'm repeating that over and over? Because how ridiculous that sounds, right? One woman, it doesn't even matter if it's a woman or a man, one human being picked up a fucking elephant. Where are you taking it? You're taking it indoors? Oh my god. What's happening? Well, I don't know what to tell you guys, but I'm actually kind of excited about this. Do we have now an elephant? Holy shit, man. <laughs> this might be the best episode of all time. I thought I was coming into like a terrible mess here, but no, this is going pretty good. Um, we need a steel wall over here, by the way. So how about steel wall like so? Alrighty. Masahiro does seem to be knocked out still. He's still recovering. Well, there it is. We have an elephant here. Let's go ahead and... um. Unrecruit you. And let's see, do I have to treat it or what? Health? Um, okay, we, we can. You know what? Heal it if you can. Now, my question is, will the elephant wake up and kill me? Or will it be like, hey, you saved my life after I was a dick, so I will be your confidant. Or not your confidant, I'll be, I'll be your comrade. I have like a comrade elephant, which would be pretty great. I don't know what's going to happen here, guys. Must the hero's up and running, though. Must the hero, what are you up to? He's uh, apparently... Tending to the elephant. Dude, are you using the, the medical stuff I told you to use? No, no. Not Masahiro, but you. Uh, Masahiro, why don't you go and grab... Look, Masahiro. Yeah, go grab... There you go. Grab an actual first aid kit. I want to save this thing if I can so I can be part of my crew. It'd be great if I can. Okay! I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm not sure what this means for us. It could mean death still whenever it um, heals up. But for now, I will allow it. Masahiro, you should have probably been healed up completely before you got up and running, though. But that's just me. Let's speed up time here a little bit and let's see what happens. I'm, I'm just very curious about what's going to happen here. Ludicrous and Rose over here sleeping together. We're treating the elephant. We are plugging up this hole. We need to bring this floor up so we can actually grow something over here. Lady Gaga, thank you very much for that. Very, very helpful of you. Gaga is now building the other wall. Okay, so that crisis is now averted. There's a minor break risk with Masahiro. It's probably because he's a bit injured as well. House is going over here. Keep taking care of those gunshots, man. You do your thing, Masahiro. Need warm clothes. At least one of your colonists will lack warm clothes when the cold season comes. The outdoor temperature is going to reach 33 Fahrenheit. I know, I'm sorry, Celsius people. You can tailor warm clothes for them. I could do that, sure. Why, why are you missing warm clothing, though? Like, um... Let's see here. You have a shirt, you have pants... Do you want, like, a, a coat? I could get you a coat if you want. Alrighty. We'll probably have to make a couple of coats here. Luckily, we do have a tailoring station, so that's not a big problem. And we have plenty of, like, con- <gasps> Oh, shit, it's up. It's up. 
Okay. Okay, it's up. It's still bleeding, though. I didn't completely um, heal you, buddy. Alrighty, so... I, I guess I was hoping we could just basically revive it, and then he'd be like, Hey, I'm your friend, but no, no, he's, a re he's revived now, or she's revived, so to walk around, but we have to tame it. Now, the problem with taming is that if you try to tame it and it fails, um, it will attack you. And that's going to be an elephant attacking somebody, which is no good. So, um, who is my best tamer right now? We need Handler. Lady Gaga is 13 of 20. Rose is 12 of 20. And Sneffy is 13 of 20. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to send Rose and Gaga to take care of the situation. So, tame. Right. Elephant may attack upon a failed taming attempt. Now, is it going to be like one attack or multiple attacks? Speaking of which, the elephant can't get out, I don't think. <laughs> the elephant can't get out. Um, can somebody open his door? Yeah, hold open. So the elephant could probably get out. Oh, should we just leave it in there? No, it's probably got to eat though, right? There, it's out now. Gaga is trying to tame. We failed. But it didn't attack just yet, so it's fine. Continue trying to tame this thing. Can we do it over and over? Minor break wrist, snaffy. Okay, that's fine. Jesus, that's a lot of blood in there. <laughs> oh my goodness, God. Look at this shit. What is this, like a, a scene from like a Rob Zombie movie or something? Alrighty. Hey, can you continue trying to tame that elephant? I don't want it to run off. I mean, I don't think it's going to run off at this point, but still. Do I get like one taming attempt per chance or what? Cannot tame elephant too recently. So yeah, it's, it has to be like wait a little while. Okay. So as long as it roams around over here, I think we should be fine. I guess we could also now close that door if we want to. You could dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. We could dance. We can dance. Tame the elephant right now. We can dance. We can dance. Elephant gonna kill us pretty good. That's a pretty bad song, I'm aware, but still. You guys wanna dance now, don't you? I think you. Um, alrighty, so let's see here. We have strawberries. We got rice plants. We have potato plants. We have devil strand. We have cotton. We have heel roots. What do we make over here? Let's find out. Um, let's go to zone. Growing zone. And I guess we might as well just go balls to the wall like so. That's pretty good. Now, what do we grow here? Very good question. What can we possibly need? People told me in the comments Falcon makes some weed. Apparently, it alleviates stress. That would make sense. It, that would definitely make sense. But at the same time, I've heard that it makes your people slower walkers and stuff like that. What the hell is a psychoid plant? A leafy plant, it leaves, its leaves can be refined into various forms of the psychoid drug. My god. What have you guys done with this game here? Drugs now. Not that I'm against them or anything like that, but still. Um, more Devil Strand would be ideal. You get out like an entire set of Devil Strand armor for everybody. That would be very good. You know what? I'm gonna make the smoke leaf plant. I'm gonna give you guys. You guys tell me Falcon give it a try at least. So I'm gonna give it a try. Plus Ludacris might want some smoke weed every day. So we'll do it for Ludacris over here. Why not? Um, and speaking of which, can people start getting the blood like cleaned up? Because like for real now. That's all part of my home area, right? Um, who's my cleaner right now? Because we need to, like, that blood is just not going to be good for mental health going forward. Uh, Masahiro constructing. Hey, Masahiro, can you, like, not do that stuff and just, um, go clean for a while? That'd be great. And also in the comments, people keep telling me Falcon used manual priorities, which is, you know, over here. Um, I I'm aware of manual priorities, guys, believe me. You don't have to tell me, like, multiple times. I'm fully aware of it. I've been playing the game since, like, you know, pre-alpha on YouTube. So I know about them. I only use them when I have, like, a really huge colony because then it becomes more micromanagey. When it's, like, only, like, six people at the most, I just do the automatic thing. I turn stuff off when I need it off. I turn it on when I need it on, etc., etc. So I appreciate it, believe me, but I'm not going to do it. But I do appreciate the advice, but it's just something that I, I just, I don't know. Uh, then, whenever I want to change my mind, I have to go in there and change numbers again. You know, unless I have a big colony, I don't really bother with it too much. So, we did get the passive coolers up and running now, which is great. Now, let's go over to... Oh, I want to get that, but we need the microelectronics basics first still, huh? So, electricity and smitting, which I do believe we have all of them, no? The prerequisites for it. Actually, let's do electric... Let's do electric smelting. I think that could be very useful in terms of, like, you know, helping us out with our supply of metals in the future. I mean, I'm pretty sure she'll do it whenever she's ready, right? There she goes. Okay. So, Elephant, how's it going over here, huh? You want to join, buddy? 
All right, just hang out over here. Um, just eat food whenever you need food. I mean, there's you could find stuff around the base, I'm pretty sure. Masahiro, where are you at? Oh, he's cleaning the blood now. Perfect. There you go. That's what I want to see. Clean up the blood. Who boy. Is Fred Durst using milk to make food? I think he just grabbed milk and he's doing it. Oh, yeah, we have, like, good meals now, too. I forgot about that. We have him making lavish meals for us, too. So that's, go oh, that's also going to help us out with our moods going forward. All righty. The only minor breaks is snappy for once. Everybody's looking pretty good. All right. Oh, what is this? Cargo pods. Right. You are rat leather. Ugh. I don't need you. I don't need no rat. Oh, you know what I forgot? This here. This came from a, a raid that we got, and I completely forgot about it. What the hell is this? Claim? Okay, I'm gonna claim this. Is it mine now? I guess it's mine now. What do I do with this crate? Do I just crack it open or what? Is it like a, a fun bag, a surprise, or what? Let's see here. Can I do anything here? Well, with Rose, I can't do much. Designate this item to be an uninstalled and reinstalled somewhere else. Uninstall. Oh, I could uninstall it. Okay. Sure. I uninstalled the crate. Oh! Yo, dude, what the fuck is your problem, Masahiro? Like, for real now? Oh, you sure? It's raining at the very least. What if you start fires outside? Will, will you, like, you know, leave this little fucking pyromaniac mentality aside? Like, go outside and start some fires and then you'll come back to us without having to beat you down? I can't continue to use medkits on you. Lady Gaga, what are you doing? Tame elephant. Masahiro, don't just dare start that fire inside you, fucker. Okay, let's... Oh, God, he's doing it inside. This piece of shit Masahiro, dude. We failed a chance. Okay, I'm going to wrap up the episode here, guys, because we're out of time. Stick around for the next one. We'll see if Masahiro burns down the entire base or whatever happens here. Fuck this guy so much. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.